Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Inscription, where we are slowly solving puzzles. Uh, I still don't know what most of this does, but, uh... Hmm. So, we got the thing out of here. We haven't done anything with these yet, but I don't think there's anything to do with that yet. Uh, we've gotten the plant, which has done nothing for me yet. I've gotten the key out of here, but I don't really know, like, what else to do here. And that, the, 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 the ring that I got out of here was just completely random. I just was randomly pushing buttons. Uh, that's still locked, obviously. But, uh, I can't do anything with those. That's an interesting glow on there. But, uh, let's continue. We have defeated the Prospector, uh, even though he absolutely... The heck? Come in, Sky? Sharp quills. Once the card bearing the sigil is struck, the striker is dealt damage. Guardian, when opposing creatures place. So this looks like a like a person card, like uh, four fox that I made, but I don't remember making that card. The tragic rat king. When they tangled their bodies together, become corpses. You will gain four bones. So that's like a blood to bone converter, basically. What's this? Is that just suggesting which card you should take? I kind of want to take Kaminsky. Sure, why not? Items, but I have a full set of items. Hmm. You can't take more than three items with you, yet you have three items. Triple dot. Instead, perhaps you'll accept this gift from my friend. Aw, oh, it's a cute little rat boy. Yes, yes, Skaven, yes. A pack rat. The prudent pack rat. Never doubt the utility of a well-stocked pack. So that pack icon means when it dies, it gives something. I don't remember exactly. Oh, right, the sigil, the sigil fights. So this gives all the bug sigils on, the, on his side of the board, the airborne sigil. Okay, and he has a B there. And a stump blocking the way, and a 1-2 bullfrog. Okay, well, let's play this strange larva. I'm going to play it... Well, not the skink. I'm going to play it here. I'm going to hope it turns into something strong, because otherwise it's going to get killed by a bullfrog. <laughs> okay, it has now turned into a metapod. Interesting, that's completely useless for me. Also, I... Uh, mm, should have grabbed a squirrel there. Hello, grabby hands. Okay, so we're going to break open an emergency squirrel because I'm stupid. And let's go ahead. We'll do the worker ant. End the turn. And it has turned into Mothra. And Mothra does seven damage. Okay. Sure, I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that. But I just did the exact same mistake again because I keep forgetting the scrolls are a thing. Uh, I win anyway, right? Yeah, I win anyway. Oh wait, no. The, the Mothman or the 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 bullfrog does uh does block flying. I forgot about that. 
Oh, and then the mantis. Okay. All right. Well, I win this turn then. Because the Mothman is going to kill. Or, the Mothman is going to win. There we go. Yeah, I'll be keeping the Mothman around, and I'll have to remember to put it someplace where it won't take three damage before it dies. You were stopped along the way by a trapper, looking to liquidate his pelts. There was something uncanny about his appearance, but you were quickly distracted by his wares. Care to look, take a look at my pelts? Take a pelt for free, free of charge. See the quality? Y you're leaving already? Please, consider me pelts. Uh, well, I don't have enough to buy a golden pelt, which seems pretty important. But sure, we'll grab a wolf pelt. And a rabbit pelt? Are these just going to fill my deck and become a problem? Probably. Can I go now? Th thanks for your business. The man assured you of the value of the pelts. They appear to be useless in a fight. But he mentioned the trader further down the path would reward you for them. Okay, so you trade them in for benefits later. That's interesting. What's this? You came across some familiar stones, but there was something different. Oh, you in <laughs> you intuited the fate of the creature selected for this would not be pleasant. Pick something else. Do what you must. <laughs> Four Fox. <laughs> Kaminsky. Okay, so what do I not want here? Uh, mm. The Rattler is probably too expensive. You callously slaughtered the Rattler. However, the Bone Lord was pleased by your sacrifice. A minor boon of the Bone Lord. You will start each battle with one extra bone. That's kind of nice. You shook off the viscera of the poor Rattler and carried onwards. Maybe I should have sacrificed the stoat. <laughs> After all, he thinks I'm bad at video games, so... It's only fair, right? Okay, just a standard little fight. See, he's gonna play a bee and a bullfrog. Okay, well, let's start out pretty standard then. We're going to play a squirrel here, and we're going to play the bullfrog there. That should take care of the bee. Should grab the ant queen, though, right? Yeah. Let's just uh, summon the Ant Queen. I haven't summoned her yet, so... We'll see. Let's let's put her here. Of course, that gives me a worker ant, which I can't do anything with yet. But... Things will improve. We'll grab another squirrel. We'll sacrifice it for a worker ant. Look, it's a tribal deck. So the ant queen only gives me an ant once. That's actually good to know. We are, just, uh, we are taking one damage, but look, there's a third talking card somewhere around here. Personally, I hate the guy. Biggest killjoy ever. But he's the only one of us with a plan to get things back to normal. So, here's the thing. I can't do anything. But, even though it looks like I'm going to take a lot of damage, because it's like a scale system, I'm doing four to him and I'm only taking one. 
So it should be a net positive three on my end. Yeah. So let's grab a squirrel. We're gonna sacrifice the squirrel. What does this do? It's a card bearing the sigil was struck. A bee is created in your hand. A bee is defined as one power, one health airborne. So here's a question. Does it appear in his hand? Oh, get out of here, spider. And then he plays it next turn? Or does it appear on the board? Like, obviously, it would appear in my hand for me. I don't know if what I'm saying is making any sense, but uh, this is fine. Oh, it appears in my hand. What? I wasn't expecting it to be appear in my hand. That's entirely beneficial for me. Okay, let's uh let's play the wolf cub. And I don't really think I need much more. I think I uh, I think I have this next turn. Yeah. Yeah. We'll draw a card and we'll just pass that turn. Excellent. Ants bringing out the win. All right, let's see what this bad boy is. You encountered a small outpost in the post in the woods, tended by a mysterious woman. It was the traitor that the old trapper had mentioned. Her appearance was unsettling, but you were mollified by her offerings. Do you mind if I examine those pelts of yours, Sonny? Let's start with your hair pelts. Here's what I can offer. I can trade you any of these. Take your time. Hmm. Warren? When a card bearing the sigil is played, a rabbit is created in your hand. Rabbits have zero power and one health. So it creates sack bait. More sack bait, I guess I should say. Uh, the turkey vulture could be useful now that we actually have some bone synerg synergy. Yeah, we'll take the turkey vulture. And the warren, why not? Oh, wolf pelt. I'm gonna stop the old woman voice now. Oh, wolf pelt. Wolf pelt too. Exquisite. Give me something good. What is that? Bees within. <laughs> What's the card bearing this into a struck? A bee is created in your hand. Uh, that's not really useful though. A flying black goat. The flight part isn't important, but the black goat is important because it can sacrifice for three. Yeah, we'll take the black goat. Yes, the pelts are most excellent. Thanks. Now we have a few options here. I actually think my deck is getting way too bloated. So let's go ahead and go here. And we're going to sacrifice something. <laughs> sacrifice four fox. Kaminsky, Pack Rat, Warren. But what would we sacrifice it for? Like, what would we do with it? I mean, I guess we could. We could. Wait. Wait. I have to, I have to do this. For Fox. For Fox, I'm gonna give you the power to spawn rabbits. Yes! <laughs> Uh, he is the healthiest character, which means when he gets hit, he'll, uh, he'll, he'll give me more opportunities to spawn rabbits. Okay, so I have a black goat. I have a squirrel. He's going to play a lot of damage next turn. Get out of here, spider. I'm going to play the boulder. I'm gonna put it there. I'm going to play a squirrel. And for the long-term planning, I'm gonna put a black goat over here. And hopefully we're going to draw something that I can sacrifice for lots of lots of goodness. What did those cards do? That's not 
That's really not helpful. Oh, I can't look at those cards when they're flipped like that. That's lame. Alright, let's play the stink bug. Oh, I'm gonna lose the goat. Ah, there's nothing to do about it now. I'll just have to deal with it. Waterborne. A card bearing the sigil submerges itself during its opponent's turn. While submerged, opposing each creature's attack its owner directly. Okay. Give me a sack. Kaminsky! Ah, I think I'd lose. Am I gonna lose? I'm gonna lose. Ah. Mm, let's do that. Ah! Ooh, ah! Okay. A well earned point of damage. I didn't think you would really do it. I didn't know it was gonna do that. I thought I was gonna do something with the scales. Uh, I'm dead. I think. I'm gonna take. Oh, I'm not dead yet. I think this, the, uh, that saved me. Yeah. But I am going to die next turn unless I draw something that I can actually do. You know what? This is fine. We're going to put the caged wolf there. It's going to continue blocking the coyote. Uh, we're going to play the opossum. Ah. We're going to play Kamin... Nah. We need to do some damage or we're just going to die. We might just die anyway. Okay, no, we're breaking even. Okay. Four fox. Four fox, I need you to save me. You can't draw blood from a caged wolf. Let's see, I play four fox, he does three damage. And I take three damage. One, two, three. That's l pretty much my only choice. No, I'll only take two damage because uh, the sparrow will also die. And then I can also play the rabbit because the kingfishers will attack over it. Yeah, there we go. Oh no, I, I died. I did my math wrong somewhere. How disappointing. It was disappointing. That's fine. That's why we have two flames, right? You must make a different kind of choice now. Choose not a specific beast, but decide the cost you wish to pay. Is that one bone? Three blood? We'll do three blood. A grizzly. Okay, a monstrous grizzly. Its form speaks enough of its efficacy. I... Mm, Okay. Okay. This is fine. Our the problem that I'm having right now is that our our deck is just filled with too much bloat. The warm light of a campfire welcomes sight. Okay, yep. It enhances its power. <laughs> Let's continue powering up for box. Survivors were right about the flames. They had enhanced the creature's power. Spotting a few of the survivors drooling, you made a hasty re retreat with your four fox. All right, boss time. A foul smell invaded your nostrils and caused your throat to seize. A hulking man sat by a brackish pond with his feet submerged in dark water. He pulled a hook from a pile of rotting fish and rose to his feet. I am the angler. Go fish. That's kind of terrifying. <laughs> uh, what do you have? Kingfisher. Okay, those are the flying things that uh, delve, right? Or dive. Yeah. Alright, let's play a squirrel. And we'll play a wolf dog. It doesn't really matter where it goes. We'll put it there. And we'll play with Kaminsky. Why not? We 
rich fish. Hard choose. Uh, are you going to kill my card? I mean, if you want Kaminsky, you can have Kaminsky. Unless it's just going to kill Kaminsky. I don't know. Let's find out. Yeah, this is fine. Okay, so it's just going to grab... Okay. Mine now. Go fish. Okay, let's grab a squirrel. Sweet. We need to do four dan... Four fox. You do four damage. Actually, I should have put the squirrel somewhere else. Uh, this is fine. Stale fish. Hard choose. I mean, if you want my squirrel, you can have my squirrel. This is... choose. Okay. Well, I don't really care if he takes the caged wolf. We're gonna put the caged wolf over here. Yeah, this is fine. And then the wolf is just going to defeat the first phase. I don't know what his second phase is going to look like, so I don't really want to play for Fox for fear that something bad will happen. Go fish. Bait bucket. What do they do? I don't know. Worker ant? Oh, it's a shark. Okay. I don't have a solution to a shark. That's another wolf. Uh... <laughs> That's kind of fun. <laughs> Just kind of flip the cards. Oh, what's my solution here? Stall tactics, I guess? Ah! Too many cards. Too many cards in the deck, and nothing to uh, to to use with it. I d I'm dead. This is fine. Fish. Grab your hands. Thank you. Stay there. No need to move. I am afraid you are not yet dead. Hold still. Where did I put that camera of mine? 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 Oh. Mine? Mine? Oh. Do you have any idea what that camera is capable of? Give me that. We have a memento to create. Behold your death card. Shall we begin to ink it? Please choose a card to draw the cost from. I am going to be the cheapest one. Yeah, there we go. Another. This time I will use its power and health. We'll do. The <laughs> we'll do the turkey vulture. It has the highest power and health. Yep. Now choose a co card which which will extract the sigils from. Uh, 
I don't know. I still don't know what this fledgling does on like a not special, like a card that has it. Maybe nothing. You know what? I need a better blocker than the bullfrog. I don't really like the bullfrog. Uh, it doesn't do enough damage. Yep. That's what we'll do. And uh, for this one, well... You know, we did get killed by a fisherman. And you know who likes fishing, right? Talion Dath. Talion Dath loves fishing. So this is going to be Talion Dath. One thing now remains. I must capture your visage. Say cheese. Click on. Back to start. Are you prepared for what lies ahead? To be appelled on the angler's hook like the one who came before. Seems the lovely stink bug has made its way in, but it is dealt, so it stands. Cool. I think that's where we'll leave it for today. So far, I'm liking it. It's less uh, spooky horror in your face so far, and more just like having... It has just like a creepy air. Huh, I wonder why that's back in the painting. Now this light's on. I do relish snuffing out your excess candles before a boss. Perhaps you will now enjoy it as much as I do. Okay. This is new too. Is this Taylor's skull? Oh, I can take the teeth out of Taylor's skull. Still don't know what that does. Still don't know what this does. This is tied to the caged wolf somehow, but I don't really know. I can't sack. I probably have to get the caged wolf killed, if I had to guess. I still don't know what this does or what I'm supposed to do with it, but why not? All right. Uh, but that will be it for this episode. So, uh... Until next time, happy gaming.